As we reported earlier, the state of Georgia has announced it will do a full hand recount of Election Day ballots as officials there say it is still too close to call which presidential candidate won the state. But the presidential race isn't the only one garnering attention in the Peach State. The runoff elections in Georgia between GOP Senator Kelly Leffler and Democratic challenger Raphael Warnock and Republican Senator David Perdue and his Democratic challenger John Ossoff are swiftly becoming a showdown over the control of the chamber. Joining me now on Skype to offer his analysis on this and more is Ramesh Panuru, visiting fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. Ramesh, welcome back. Always great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Ramesh, we have a lot to get to, but I want to start off with the race, uh, the runoff races, that is, in Georgia. A lot is at stake there. Let's talk about that. Yes, these are races for two Senate seats that will determine which party has a majority in the Senate. If the Democrats win both of them, then with Vice President-elect, probably Kamala Harris, they will have a 51-50 majority in the Senate. But if they don't, then the Republicans have a majority of either 51 or 52, depending on whether they win one or both of those elections. So it's a pretty high stakes set of elections. Ramesh, what do you think the chances are that the Democrats will win, you know, considering uh, Georgia has historically been a red state? Well, Georgia has becoming less of a red state in recent years, it was very competitive in the presidential election. I do think that it is unlikely that the Democrats are going to get the sweep that they need, um, particularly as it becomes clearer that Joe Biden is the next president. I think that the instincts of a lot of voters to want a check and not to want the Democrats to have complete control of the federal government will come into play and that will aid the Republicans. Uh, I want to talk about the Georgia recount in the presidential race now. Currently, Joe Biden is leading by a slim margin. What do you think the likelihood is that a recount could result in a flip that's in favor of President Trump? I think it's pretty unlikely. And, of course, just flipping Georgia wouldn't mean changing the outcome of the presidential race, which at the moment looks like it's going to be 306 to 232 electoral votes. So other states would also have to flip. So it is an extraordinarily steep climb for President Trump right now. Uh, I also want to talk about and get your take on the Trump campaign's lawsuits regarding the presidential election. What are your thoughts on it as a political strategy at this point and the message that it sends to his supporters? Well, he has managed to persuade a lot of Republicans that he did, as he puts it, win big, win by a lot, uh, and that the election is being stolen. Uh, that presumably will make him look less like somebody who has lost, which is obviously a perception that he doesn't want, and aid him in any future political endeavors, maybe aid him in some future business endeavors. I don't see that it's going to do much to change the actual outcome of the election, again, because there are just the margins and the number of states is too large for it to work. Ramesh, thanks so much for coming on. We always appreciate your analysis. Ramesh Panuru, visiting fellow at American Enterprise Institute. Thank you again. You're welcome.